Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I recorded this about five times. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna be honest. I recorded this about five times now, almost. I just really hope this is a bit, this is the video. Anyways, I want to quickly show you this this replay. The 13 kill I got. And I'm gonna kind of quickly explain what what I do, why I do it. And but and after I'm going to show you a couple spots that, along with the ones shown in this video, you should really take note of, if you want to better yourself at being a seeker. Now, before I do, before I start anything here, just know I may go a little quick. So if you have any questions about anything in this video or anything else related about Chinatown, which is what I'm covering, please do be sure to leave a comment. I will, I will be happy to respond to any comments about this that I can. All right, so I spawn in, of course, and the first thing I do, of course, is go for the AFK person. I mean, of course, it's the first thing you want to do. Oh. I'm kind of used to that being some something different. Okay. Yeah, I went for the AFK person first because that's the first kill, and of course, why, why would I not take that? Next up is this guy here, but the quickest one to me. And we have three right outside. Those will go for the leaf first, so that way the other two will lead to me having a quicker kill here. Me, with me going into this room, is not like a very long walk to get to this building. It's kind of lagging, I know. You got that guy. I kind of got distracted here because I saw Black running. I was trying to get there as fast as I could, but I just wasn't fast enough. Luckily, though, there was a block there that I could get. And with that being the only block in, this, in that room, I knew not to go back there. Anyways, I went back up here, found nothing, of course, and then I moved all the way back here to this room, since that room I already got through, so I skipped it, went around, found nothing, and then I moved on over here. I used third person to check behind the staircase to check for any bookshelves that could be hiding in that corner. There wasn't any, so I just moved up the stairs, jumped out the window, looked around for a second, and then because these two were here, I decided to go up over here. If they weren't there, I would have went the other way. So, so I got the wool, and instead of going downstairs like the leaf did, I decided to set the medium out front. Sort of. Started chasing him. Fortunately for me, he kind of messed up the jump there with the slab, allowing me to get close enough to get a combo on him that ended up killing him and turning him into a, turning him into a seeker. Went up the stairs and found two more blocks. One in the middle of the table, and one right by him on the bookshelf area by the jukebox. Then went to check this room since I knew the last block was a bookshelf. Yeah, we're already down the one from that. Yeah, I checked down there, didn't find anything. Walked up here in the only bookshelf I thought I knew that was in this room. Didn't find anything. Then I decided to jump down here to check for anything in here. There wasn't anything in here either. So I just went up and then... So yeah, then I went up and then there it is. 
So <laughs> that's like what I did. Now, real quick, I want to show y'all a couple spots that you would want to know of if you're seeking on this map. Like these spots, you'll probably want to check at least once just to be sure. All right. So. I don't know how many times I've been lucky with this spot, like not being checked. If the seeker was an AFK, but came back here with Bloss being right there. But if the seeker just doesn't come over here, like it doesn't get knocked over here. I don't, I don't think I have many games where the seeker would actually know there's a block here. So yeah, just in case do check in this corner. That's like, that's kind of like, it maybe you get one or two, but it's always good to check there just in case you're missing something. Now you may come across the one that is in this, this kind of spot right here, truly on the banner here, ready to jump out when you go in. For a way to combat this, I know that you can jump parkour jump on this car through the leaves here i'm very good at this jump trust me oh my lord okay you jump from the car to the leaves and then jump around to get up here and then prepare yourself because you may end up getting knocked off in this situation but you may be lucky and not and, and not get knocked off but yeah, if there's any case where there's a hider up here taunting you and you're outside, just know you can do that and you can combat anyone that tries to do that. I'm sorry, hiders, but this video is for the seekers. If you want a video for the hiders, there's a video on my channel for that. Yeah, this video is for the seekers. Another spot I want to look at. I mean, while I do consider it the best spot in the game, best spot in Chinatown, this spot up here simply can't be ignored. I mean, if there's a higher taunting up there, then for sure you're not gonna not gonna ignore it. But even then, you probably want to check there at least once just to make sure if make sure whether or not you're gonna have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Also, may I remind you how to get up there? This was first try, by the way. But yeah. Five parkour jumps to make it to that spot right up there. And keep in mind, those that was first try from me. It is possible to do it, just it wouldn't be very easy. Like, this is not very easy if you're not, like, all that skilled with, like, parkour jumps kind of like this. Oh, and, like, I may be wrong about this, but you would have to momentum jump this. Otherwise, you wouldn't make it. You may be able to make it without without momentum, but that may be a really hard thing to accomplish. But my dad. Uh, yeah, the, the block right there, probably. So just in case, check up there. But you now know how to do it. Right next to that spot would be this area, the alleyway. I mean, this is kind of obvious, like Someone would probably hide here, but just in case you forgot this place existed, now you remember. The most obvious spots in this area that someone would hide would be in this hole, of course, or somewhere like around here-ish to kind of blend in with the andesite. Or maybe for some reason they'll try to hide with the spruce. I mean, you normally wouldn't need to jump over something back here. So if you had to jump over something, then there's definitely someone here. <laughs> I 
My frames. Um. There's also this spot over here that I didn't necessarily look at, but there may be a chance you may find someone that hides here. No one, no one hides there enough, which is maybe probably why some people end up winning here, mainly because like who checks there? But. For those that actually use the spot, yeah, I kind of kind of ratted y'all out. So, hope y'all are good runners. <laughs> but yeah, if I were you seekers, I would use third person to see if you can win the building, just to make sure there isn't anyone back here. A couple more things. If there's anyone up here, they're a cheater. The trap doors you can't use as a hider anymore. So. If you see anyone, then they're either a hacker, which is highly unlikely because why up here of all places, or they just using our hider good up there, which is also cheating. But you can't do that to get an advantage over the player and say. But yeah. That's all I got for now. Again, if you want, if you want clarification of anything I specified in this video, or or have any more questions about Chinatown, please be sure to leave in the comments down below, as I'd be happy to answer any of them. And I I can do this for any other map. Just let me know also what map you want me to cover next. Like I'm down to do any. I don't I honestly don't mind which one wins, which one which one gets picked next. I'm down to do any. Even the new maps, Time of uh, time Harvest, I know they just got added, but I could try to do uh, through either one of those, but they're new, like, they're like still kind of fresh new, so there's definitely spots that I don't know yet, so, yeah, you're probably going to have to wait and see, but yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.